Hi guys, welcome back to my second YouTube video. This is kind of exciting, you know? I'm like a YouTuber now. No, I'm kidding. It's really exciting to share my life with you guys and I don't know, I feel like YouTube out of all the social medias, it's like very intimate and you guys really get to see and get to know me and get to know like what I'm doing and my projects. I don't know, I think that's kind of cool. I think that's why YouTube is super fun. So I'll definitely be posting more on here. And if you're new here, I don't think you know what the Velo series is. It is a series where I decorate my boyfriend's new film store in Chicago. He has his first store in Miami. We opened that about two years ago. That was the first store I ever decorated in my entire life. Like that was the project that got me to where I am right now. I do want to say this video is a little chaotic. I am new to this whole vlogging thing, so hopefully you guys enjoy. Hopefully you enjoy to see the process of what we went through, decorating this store and all the moods and all the crazy things we did. I think Bello and I really enjoyed this process. And crazy enough, if Bello and I didn't break up from this, then I don't think anything will ever make us break up because it was intense. I hope you guys enjoy this video and welcome to part two of the Bello series. So Bello is building the boxes right now. He's doing great. And then we're gonna put grout and tile them up. While he does that, I'm gonna fix this wall because I'm gonna paint on it. So we need to fix those parts that the wallpaper ripped out. I'm gonna sand it down and then I'm gonna put putty on it. Bello got the wall done. On this trip, I've been obsessed with Caesar salads. Obviously, I ordered Caesar salad. Bello got salmon, and this is where I'm at with the cubes. Also, we ran out of tiles, and we swore we had enough. We have one more box, but it's not gonna be enough for both of those, so I'll probably finish these two today and then come back tomorrow. And he took down the shelf. Looks so much better. And we'll be back tomorrow. Oh my God, he's going down the dungeon. gonna be regular checkers and I'm just the type of person who doesn't like to measure and put tape and use a leveler also that just stresses me out so much I might as well just buy it as a wallpaper if I wanted straight checkers so as you guys can see it was like perfect checkers wobbly checkers and then they're gonna drip and then I want to incorporate the blobs so if you guys have been to Bellows Miami or if you know Bellows Miami there's a bunch of blobs on the outside so that was like kind of like our signature thing. Now I'm doing the drip part. I fucked up there. So I'm trying to cover it up. And I have a huge mess. I'm gonna go clean the paint water because it's basically paint now and not water. And we're gonna finish the rest of the wall. Poor bunny. Come on. 
Your cheeks are so red. You look like you're gonna die. You wanna go eat? So right now it's pretty cold in Chicago. And so I was freezing when I was painting. I was literally shivering. So I turned on the heat and now it's a hundred degrees in here and I don't know what to do. I'm literally gonna pass out. Bella went to Home Depot. Yes, always. <laughs> and he picked up a vending machine and he picked up a Pac-Man machine. Bella's a handyman now. I build the tables. I cut the wood. <laughs> he literally bought a saw and cut the wood himself. So today they put up the wall. The wall's there. Very excited for that. We need to figure out what we're gonna do there. Bella and I actually got here and they were putting up fake brick on the wall and we're like, oh my God, no, please don't. Thank God we stopped them. And there's a huge mess. Look at this. How is this gonna be a store? <laughs> it's just messy. It's like a workshop. <laughs> Let's spend this night together Let this fire burn inside our hearts Let us soak in all the pleasure Now that the rain is slowly bitter packing We are lost inside our lover's nest We don't need the world, we just need us What if Going back to Miami right now. We'll be back in like five days. But this is how the wall is looking and we got a Pac-Man machine and a vending machine. Exciting. Also look how cute it is, it's in perfect condition. It looks so good. And I was able to finish one cube. This is what it looks like. I might be painting it, but it looks really nice white. When I come back, I'll finish both of those cubes and this will be a little more organized. But yeah, we'll be back in five days. So, five days. five days. We'll see you again. Where are we? In Chicago. <laughs> Where are we going? Chicago. We're going to Miami. I look absolutely insane, but we're back in Chicago. We left for about maybe like a week and a half, two weeks, I would say. Bello and I had work, I had to go to Orlando to do a client's house, and Bello had a few music videos he was shooting. But now we're back in Chicago, and we painted actually that wall. It's like a peach, it's like a peach color. It kind of looks orange from here, but it is very pink in person. And I'm doing the cubes right now. I tiled all of them and now I'm just putting grout on the last ones and then we're gonna be painting them. 
and I'm holding Altoids in my hand because I am addicted to cinnamon Altoids. I don't know where this addiction came from, but ever since I was young, I would always eat them. Here's my phone on the tripod. And we are building the counter, which is the most important part of the entire store. It's gonna be huge. It's gonna be an L, and then it'll close off over there. And obviously there'll be a space for the workers and the employees to walk in, but it's gonna be almost the entire room here. It'll be super cool. But I finished this one and that one. Now we just need that one and then we'll get to painting. But look how the counter's coming out. I think tomorrow we'll be able to transform it. Guys, the counter is built. I'm so happy right now. It's huge. It's like up to my boobs. It's so big. And Bello got me two lips, but they're so freaking cute. I wish I could take them home with me. Look at this. We have built-in shelves. I can sleep in there. Like we can make bunk beds because it's that big. We just went out to buy more supplies. So I have more grout because I ran out and I'm gonna finish this one. And I'll finally be finished with all three. Yesterday, it literally wasn't even cold in Chicago and now it's back to being freezing. So I put the heater on. Yeah. Also, when I'm cold, I literally can't function. So last night we primed the tables. We used the Bare Bonding Primer, which is basically the only one you can use. Not the Bare, the Bare is just the brand that makes it. There's more brands that make bonding primer, but you have to use bonding primer if you want to paint on tiles. And these, we actually got them at Sharon Williams because Home Depot does not make epoxy paint. Guys, I found a Mexican market near our store in Chicago and I've never been happier. You guys didn't notice I'm Mexican and the only two things I love to eat are lime and spicy food. That's it, literally nothing else. Basically what I'm trying to say is that I'm a very picky eater, but Mexican food is my favorite and I could eat that until I die. I don't know if you can tell, but it's pink. <laughs> The pink is so cute. Update on the paint. This is literally just one coat and it looks perfect. So I'm gonna do maybe two or three layers just to make sure it doesn't get ruined, like the tile doesn't get ruined when we put things on it. But it looks great. So I'm gonna do the middle one green and then the big one blue. If I put the pink and blue together, it's gonna look like a baby shower. Here are the three painted. I didn't do a process video for both of those, but it's the same thing. Just one coat of paint. I'm doing a second layer on each of them because you should always do a second layer no matter what you're painting. When they all dry up, they get darker in color. I guess I was a little thrilled that they were kind of lighter colors and now they're a little bit darker than I expected, but it honestly looks really good anyway, so. Every time I decorate, you guys always ask what colors I'm using, so I'm gonna document and tell you guys the colors I'm using. So the pink one is 6603 Olander. Olinder, I don't know how to say that. The green one is 6444 lounge green for this green one. 6957 under cool for the blue. You guys can see right there I did like a sample color. I'm still deciding what color to do the counter. So we're gonna figure that out in a bit. Danny Cleric, Bello Starter Pack. <laughs> Who the fuck goes into a grocery store and buys olives, Oreos, and gummy bears? Some people might think this is really weird and gross, but sometimes when I already ate, but I'm still hungry, the only thing I can eat are olives. Like, this is the only thing I'll crave. So weird. Let's try these olives. It's normally a hit or miss. They fucking slap. <laughs> Snap or slap? Slap. Bella loves olives too. Okay, so we're driving to Home Depot right now. We're finally gonna get started on the counter. So what we are going to buy are wooden slats, paint, glue, tiles, grout, mo mosaic or whatever. It's the tile glue. Once we are done with all of that, we're gonna have to rent a nail gun so we can put the slats on the wood. Every time we come in here, it's like we're trapped in here for at least two hours. No, we're leaving in five minutes. <laughs> Bello hates this place, but it's the only place saving him. If it weren't for Home Depot, we would be paying $10,000 for a counter. Instead, we're 
We're gonna be painting around 3,500. Bell and I didn't go to school, so we're really bad at numbers. 72. <laughs> we're so bad at this. Okay, and... 12.5 is 60. Oh, he's goofy. Look how he stands, he's literally a dad. Are you ready to have my babies? No. <laughs> a mini Danny that can carry those boxes for you? No one's gonna carry these boxes. You, you can barely carry it. How do you expect me to carry it? Remember when we wanted to put turf all over Bellows, Miami? Yep. Guys, we were literally gonna buy turf in Home Depot and put it all over the store. Like, cover the entire floor. <laughs> the glue, the tile, and the grout. What's the date today? The 14th, 14th. it's Andy Cleric's birthday. Happy birthday, Andy Cleric, we love you. Since I was vlogging, I forgot I need to be making TikToks. This is like a full-time job. <laughs> Getting the spacers and then i just need the spatula spatulinski now we need the wooden slots this is exactly what we need <gasps> guys my camera's gonna die i'll be back we got all the freaking wood we're gonna need for this counter 34 slots and these two were in the color section my favorite section in the whole world so i have the render here on my phone this is what bellows is supposed to look like it's the render's not done this is the counter what it's supposed to look like these slots are pink the inside is red maybe something like that or actually i think that's literally the perfect one dark crimson so i ordered the red I did one gallon because one gallon covers around 350 square feet and we're only covering about 100 square feet. And now I'm on the hunt to find Bello because I don't know where he is. Guys, my camera's about to die! I have my, um, my mom, but it's supposed to be C. Everyone meets Sloan, by the way. <laughs> she. Oh no! My camera died. <laughs> Safety I, I already hear the blog. And then I made Bella put on the glasses. <gasps> your woman trying to do her best. Every time your best friend coming over. It seems kind of strange to you. But she says that you're a one only lover. They're talking, laughing, joking around. And you feel a certain kind of blue. Guys, my camera died yesterday when Sloane came over and she gave me a little cube and I was able to charge my camera, but it took a little while and then I forgot about it, so I didn't record anything with her. But basically, Sloane reached out on TikTok and she came to help us and yesterday she helped us so much. She made our lives so much easier. Literally without her, I wouldn't have been able to do anything because Bello had to leave to pick up some stuff yesterday, so we were alone all day. And I'm gonna show you guys kind of what we did and just do a little recap of what happened yesterday and what we're gonna do today. So this is our last day here. We're leaving tomorrow back to Miami and we will be back in three days. I don't know, tomorrow's the 17th and we're opening May 1st. So we are leaving and coming back for sure, but Bella and I have two really big jobs we need to go back home for and then we'll be back. Yesterday, we painted these slats pink and I just posted on my story and everyone's like, oh my God, red, that's kind of weird. But we're gonna put the slats on the counter, which is gonna be so cool. We will be putting them up today. And the other thing we finished yesterday was tiling the top. Look at that. We tiled all of this yesterday and Sloan and I, we grouted everything. And we also added this piece of wood. So it kind of looks more like a counter. Just before dawn, we're all you got. 
it's like almost one in the morning and we leave tomorrow at 7 a.m. So we have to be there at 6 a.m. So we have to wake up at 5 a.m. And I'm, the flight is at 6 a.m. Never mind because Marcel's a psychopath. I finished the counter. You guys understand? I'm like super delusional right now. I don't know how I'm vlogging right now, but let me just show you guys. Let me give you a, a really quick rundown of the space before we come back in like six days. This is the entrance. Come over here. We got the mural. Three tile tables. We got this little display, handmade by Ian, the one who built the counter for us. And I've never seen such cool and funky wood. I'm trying to figure out a way to like keep the shape. So maybe like stain it. But basically here, we're gonna have a little candy shop area. We're gonna have a neon sign there. And then we're gonna put candy dispensers all over and then put film inside. So it'll be kind of like shopping for candy, but it's film, not candy. And then on this purple wall, we're putting all the displays with all the cameras. And we have the lovely counter. I've only made one counter in my life, and that's the first Bellows counter. And it was completely tiled. It was like this. And I didn't want to do that this time. I don't know, I wanted something different. So we ended up with this. Don't mind this. Only you and I will know that it's not measured perfectly. Hopefully people won't realize, but I, I fucked up the measurements like right there. We'll be back in maybe five days. I don't know. We never know what the plan is. We don't have our tickets yet, but we'll be back. And I'll try to vlog more, I promise.